I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, King of Pentacles, and it's with the Knife of Cups. Now the King of Pentacles it actually speaks of authority, tradition, success, and money matters. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that's about money, cash, coins, finance, income. When this card appears in the reading, it is a sign that now is not the time to be a maverick. It's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when this stands for actual person in your life, it can refer to someone who's very masculine, could have dark hair, dark eyes, but that could go either way. If it is referring to an actual person or a man in your life, just know that this is someone who you can, yes, you can believe in and trust absolutely. Now it's with the Knight of Cups, which is like most of the cups in the tarot, it's optimistic. Good card to see in the reading. Like all the Knights, this one comes with message messages. And usually you have the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. Knight of Cups tells you that things are going to be going well, and you're likely to be feeling charged up ready for action. This card often means good news especially when it comes to matters of the heart. So Pisces, Knight of Cups and King of Pentacles for the recent past energy between you and your person. So the message that I'm getting is that you want it, you want it success with your person. Yeah. You you could have wanted it to become more committed. You could have wanted to secure it because the Knight of the I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles, the card above the word pass. It's about stability. It's about being focused. The, the King of Pentacles makes makes a really good father. It's a good, stable, solid type of energy. And this is what you wanted out of the connection. So you wanted it to be successful. You wanted success with your person. And your person was probably always the type that came rushing in towards you being very romantic and sensitive. That's the Knight of Cups, the card below the word pass. So you wanted success and they were always eager to give it to you. Being very romantic and sensitive. So why don't we move on over? Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got this Three of Pentacles and it's with the Knight of Wands. Now the Three of Pentacles is very positive, especially when it comes to work, career questions. But it's actually a really good overall card in the deck. It means you're doing well. It, it tells you that people they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of work you do, even if you don't get a paycheck for it. It does indicate that you should keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. No, it's with a Knight of Wands. Now, this is showing a great time for travel. If you can manage to get away, you should be feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is likely to be increasing, and this should help reach towards new goals. The nights are often message bearers, and the messages are likely to be positive. Any projects that you have, they'll be better, they'll be um, going or doing better than you ever thought. So you're going to have a lot of reasons to feel pride. So Pisces coming up, Three of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Wands. Okay, so the message that I'm getting is that 
Well, like I said, the reason past you you wanted success with your person, they were eager to give it to you. They always reached out to you with messages of love, being romantic and sensitive and rushing towards you, but coming off, it looks like you kind of only got one foot in and one foot out with this person. Yeah, that's one storyline that I'm getting. Yeah, you got one foot in, one foot out, but they're trying to convince you with the Three of Pentacles showing up here that you need to be in all the way. Because the Three of Pentacles can be about trying to impress someone because you see how the Three of Pentacles are caught above the work present. These two people are at this man's feet. And they're looking up at him at what he's showing them and they're really impressed. They're like, wow. So they're trying to, the person could be trying to convince you to step on in 100, give it 100. But you kind of only got one foot in and one foot out. Now for others, for some of your other Pisces, Knight of Wands can be a player. You might feel like your person is a player. And They've only got one foot in and one foot out. Come, they're here and then they're there. And you could be trying to convince them to, to step out of that in and out type of energy. So those are the two storylines that I'm getting. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Ten of Cups. And we got the Nine of Wands. Now the Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. It's about happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way, as opposed to the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a really, really good card. It speaks of happy, happy it speaks of happy family life into the overall well-being that goes beyond you. To include yourself and those that you care about, your siblings, your pets, children, and much more. Being spiritually fulfilled can be a part of the picture too. Great card to see regardless of any question. Now it's with the Nine of Wands. And when the Nine of Wands comes up, the first and the best step is often to take a deep breath, calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time if you can do so. And I say this because at least some of the worries, they'll turn out to be imaginary. So get specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. You might want to ask yourself, what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? So your challenge, Pisces, Ten of Cups, clarified by the Nine of Wands. Yeah, like I see your person, they're trying to convince you to be in this connection all the way. They see you just got one foot in and one foot out. Yeah, they see you as someone that they, they could have it all with. They find you to be like this Ten of Cups. They see that they feel like you're their dream come true. That's what the Ten of Cups means. Yeah, their dream come true. But for some reason, you're you're like the Nine of Wands. You're not, you're, you could be starting to put up a wall. That's what this person is doing. The Nine of Wands are kind of the love word challenge. Yeah. So a lot for a lot of you. Yeah, you, you could, a lot of you could feel like your person is a player. Because this Nine of Wands has given me two stories, two storylines. You've just got one foot in and one foot out. And for some of you, you think your, per your person is like this because they're, they're a player. They're over here with you, then they're over there with somebody else. In and out. Yeah. So it looks like you could start to build a wall and have some anxiety about letting this person come towards you.
but they see you as someone that they can have it all with. You're their dream come true. Now let's, now let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got the Magician and it's with the Seven of Swords. Now the Magician is a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try. Just know that you're not going to have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it. If you do the magic yourself, because the Magician is about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something, because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Now, who the magician is with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. You could be right if you feel like someone is digging through your life, or if you feel like digging through someone's life, unless it's that of your minor child who's giving you cause for concern, then you might want to resist the impulse because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. Yeah, the Seven of Swords is the stalker, spying and prying card. It can also be about manipulation, strategy, and tactics. So your outcome, Pisces, Magician, clarified by the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that you could be manifesting a new life, a new beginning somewhere else or with someone else. Because you think your person is just in and out. Or you're just not in it 100%. Because you think they're an in and out player type. And it looks like you're starting to close yourself off to this person. But they see you as a dream come true. So you could be manifesting some new beginnings elsewhere with a magician showing up in the outcome. But your person, they really got some emotions for you, Pisces. So they might start to be manipulative. They might start to use strategy and tactics to pull you back in. Yes, there might be some game playing that they might attempt. Just to draw you back in. The Seven of Swords showing, showing up here. Yeah, they feel you closing off. And they, they see that you're going for new beginnings elsewhere. So Seven of Swords is saying that they'll probably be attempting some type of games. Some type of game to pull you back. Because your person has emotions for you. Ten of Cups is powerful. They see you as their dream come true. They don't want you to get away, Pisces. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the reading resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post the next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hey, there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Keep in mind the roles can be switched. Yes, they can. You could be them or they could be you. 
And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because like I said, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. hope to see you at the next reading. I wish you all happy holidays and take care.